Hey, what is up? Dalton and Cloud here. Today we have another project management certification. Now I know this is our second, third project management certification in a row. Don't worry, we are going back to traditional IT certifications. Uh, project management is a big involvement in IT, so I just want everyone on the channel to be aware of that. When you are going into these roles, you will be dealing with a lot of product managers um, and a lot of people uh, working in different project management workflows. There's one workflow I prefer in particular, not necessarily one particular style, but one um, overall theme. Uh, and we will be going into a certification for that theme today. Uh, this particular certification is brought to us by the vendor scrum.org or um, just scrum is the name of the vendor. Uh, this is going to be for the PSM1 or uh, project a uh, professional scrum master level one is the actual certification but before we get into this video if you could go ahead please hit that subscribe button to get updates for future videos like this and tap that notification bell i really appreciate it and it helps the channel out tremendously thank you so much and let's get on with today's video All right, so I do have this video I will put in the description. Uh, for those of you who are unaware of what Scrum is, uh, this video is under five minutes, just goes into uh, details about uh, what Scrum is in under five minutes. Essentially, and we see we have a little advertisement here for a project management uh, application. So yay. Um, those are great to save a company money. If you're, especially if you're running a small business and you need to manage a lot of projects. Um, but overall what Scrum is, it's going to be uh, sprints, uh, going in like uh, doing projects, but in sprints and working collectively with different departments simultaneously. So um, there are other workflows uh, and project management styles such as waterfall, um, that was one of the more original project management um, workflows. And essentially it was a never ending cycle. Um, and after each waterfall, you would stop, assess what's going on and then go to the next part and so on and so forth. Uh, and at the beginning you have kind of uh, the management outlines what they want or, or not management or the uh, customer outlines what they want. Uh, for a particular project to be done uh, and what their ask is. Now, the issue with that is, you know, you get X amount down the line, all of a sudden they want to change it up, and then there's an issue where Scrum and my favorite umbrella hat, uh, which is Agile, which Scrum is under, um, is a constant workflow. Uh, you will start with an overall idea, put that, test that on the market, get feedback. Uh, and then for that's going to be in your first sprint. And then you take that feedback, make adjustments to your product, go on and start um, getting it in the market, uh, getting it in front of news articles uh, and headlines, get feedback from there. And then again, make more adjustments. So I really like Scrum because you're constantly evolving the product into what a finished product will look like. Uh, it's not just, you know, go through the whole thing all of a sudden, oh, wait, now we want this. Um, you could constantly make those tweaks and adjustments. And also it's working in 30 day sprints. Um, and you're also working across the board with other departments. So you could pick and pull resources uh, wherever you need uh, to make sure that the goal gets accomplished. Uh, and as a scrum master, what you're trying to get certified for, um, to, to explain it simply, if you ever remember in school when you were working on a project for class and there was the one person who did all the work, right? And they kind of told everyone what assignments to do. That would be you as a project manager <laughs> or a scrum master, I should put it. Um, you will basically be organizing all these different people. They're not under you, you're not their manager, but you are. they are reporting to you for this particular project. 
And that's what your role will be once you have a Scrum Master certification and you have a role such as a Scrum Master or Project Manager. Um, but without further ado, let's get into today's um, certification prep. So as I said, uh, our vendor, it's going to be scrum.org. Um, the particular certification we'll be testing for or getting resource material for is going to be the PSM1 or Professional Scrum Master Level 1. Uh, there's overall, uh, for, from this particular vendor, there's three different levels of Scrum Master uh, certification knowledge. When you're going for a job, um, usually they're only going to want to know that you have a project manager certification. Uh, so, you know, any of our previous certifications we've gone over, um, CompTIA's Project Plus, uh, CAPM, anything like that, uh, it's it's all going to be the same to them as long as they know you kind of know what what's what. But it is helpful to get different ideas and different understandings from different vendors. And also just, you know, if you have multiple different certifications, uh, it just shows you really know your stuff for one for two you're keeping up to date with your knowledge you're not just you know learning something and then done and then all of a sudden that knowledge is going to get outdated you're constantly evolving and growing yourself as a person and making yourself uh, more uh appealing to your potential um employer okay so details of the exam uh so the details, the fee, it, this isn't an, an expensive exam by any means. It's 150 bucks. Great. Uh, passing score is going to be 85 out of 80 questions. And you're going to have a time limit of 60 minutes. Uh, the format for the questions is going to be multiple choice, multiple answer, and true and false questions. Uh, they consider this intermediate difficulty. Um, this is freely credited digital search credential included, uh, Scrum resources. Um, so so th these are the recommended courses. They want you to actually go for the professional Scrum foundations first and then the Scrum Master. Uh, I didn't actually see a lot of resources for the Scrum Foundation online except for on their website. So unfortunately, we're not going to really have a foundation overview from this particular vendor. It's mainly just going to be going straight into the Scrum Master Level 1, which, in my opinion, would be more of like a associate level certification. Um, so next up, we're just going over the competency mapping, what areas you're going to go over uh, for this exam. Uh, lucky for us, the vendor actually mapped all this out really easily to understand uh, the applying uh, the Applying professional scrum, level one, level two, uh, and so on and so forth. Because they do have a lot of different exams, um, which which is great. And every exam goes into different topics. So we're just mainly going to go over the uh, profession, uh, the professional scrum master level one exam and what goes into that. So the first competency is going to be understanding and applying the scrum framework. And then different subtopics for this is going to be em empiricism, scrum values, scrum team, events, artifacts, and done. Um, next up is going to be developing people and teams. This is going to involve self-managing teams, facilitation, leadership, styles. Uh, I have a little bit of a list, as you could tell today. So, uh, And coaching and mentoring. The next is going to be managing products with agility. This is going to include forecasting and release planning, product values, and product backlog management. We also have developing and delivering product professionally. The, four, uh, the core focuses for this is uh, emergent software development, managing technical risk, and continuous quality. And then the other section they have for some other exams is going to be evolving the ag agile organization, which they just don't really have for this level of certification, but you will see in the PSM too. 
So we do want to just give you an idea of if you get a course from an instructor certified through scrum.org. So this is going to, this is an example course. This is running September 21st, virtual class online, guaranteed to run 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So I think it's like eight, eight and a half hours. It's going to run you $1,200. And these are the instructors, Ryan Ripley and Todd Miller. So a little bit too expensive for my taste. Uh, we, we usually run this to try to save you money and, you know, 1,200 plus the 150. So you're looking at 1,350 to get certified. Um, and then how much value is that going to add, especially if you already have a project management certification. So that's what we run into and why we try to save money on the training for these exams, especially if you don't have a, um, employer who's going to pay for the training for you. Um, so the first book we have, or the first resource we have, it's actually going to be a book. This is taught by Muhammad Ali. Uh, so this is going to be uh, Muhammad's book, Scrum Narrative and PSM Exam Guide, All-in-One Guide for Professional Scrum Master, and it teaches you for the PSM-1. Uh, he released this in 2017, but looks like he's had this updated for the uh, current version of the exam guide, which is the 2020 version is what they're running still. Um, so this includes 250 plus practice questions, uh, scrum narrative, uh, an exam guide. It's had 30,000 copies sold. So I got to say this... <laughs> Just, just looking at this book, it's not the um, best advertised. It looks like they may have done a lot of the references themselves. And look, I did look at the reviews uh, because usually I want to look at the most concurrent reviews. I don't really, and, and I focus in on the negatives. I don't really focus on the positives because the positives aren't going to help me. The negatives are. Uh, and going through the reviews for this, I did notice some people said, you know, basically it's it's going to be a little wordy. Uh, they're they're not great with their. I don't believe English will be their first language when they went over and created this book. Um, as well as you know, it's going to be a little bit wordy. It's going to be like really dry material. But a lot of the people have actually um, indicated that they did pass when using the resources in this book. So it's 22 bucks for the paperback. If you need to have an actual physical book in your hand, you know, something you could smell, <laughs> feel, touch, uh, or it's going to be $10 for the Kindle. If you are going to get this book, I would advise you get $10 for the Kindle. Just uh, run it on an e-reader on your computer or on a tablet or whatever you want to use because uh, it's $10. It's not going to cost you that much. It's going to be a penny down the drain when you compare it to the $1,200 course you would have to take for this. Uh, next is going to be Skillsoft. So this is going to, this PSM1 boot camp, as they call it, is going to be eight hours and 28 minutes and 57 seconds. So they had a decent amount of reviews for this. However, you even go on their website and they have 43 thumbs up. So like if you compare this to a lot of other certification prep uh, resources that we go over, like Simply Learn, they're not even showing you that these are actually valid people who have paid for this course. It's just, hey, 43 people like this. I could get my grandma to go like this. This doesn't mean she's going to go take the exam for a PSM one. Um, so as far as like, you know, backed by actual reviews, I didn't see Skillsoft li listed as much. Uh, they're still newer, so that's possibly why, but I did see their average course is going to be roughly 
it says aver it says it could range from ten dollars to three thousand dollars, but it says the average is around uh, fifteen hundred. So at that at that rate, you might as well get the actual certified exam from scrum.org. Uh, so that that wouldn't really be that useful. Uh, I did want to just list it because I have seen a lot of people use this resource and you can get a 14 day free trial. So if you're someone who really wants to bust out eight hours worth of content for free for 15 days, go ahead and try the, uh, try the 15 day free trial and just bust through it. Um, that would be my recommendation. Next up is going to be, uh, Valentin Despa and his free course online to get the PSM, uh, scrum certification. Um, so I didn't have a chance to go through, uh, Valentine, Valentine's, uh, course. However, I'm pretty sure he is one of our, yep, here he is. You actually could get his course, uh, on Udemy as well. Um, I would go for his free course <laughs> if I was you. <laughs> However, you should also get his Udemy course, but I'll get more into that later. <laughs> um, but I did go over his course on Udemy. I didn't go through his YouTube course, so I, I can't talk from actual experience for that. Um, but it seems to have a decent amount of content for free. It's 21 minutes worth of content. Um, uh, this, this is less of a course, more of how to just get prepared. And I'm pretty sure he's going to advertise his video in here. Yep. Oh no. Spanish version. Um, which is great especially for our bi bilingual audience in here. Um, I don't see it, but I guarantee he, he advertises his uh, other course in here. Um, anywho, free content, $21 for this, or 21 minutes worth of content. I would suggest you go through and check this out because it's going to be free. And also it just gets you an idea of what it's going to take to get prepared for this exams before you buy any content or courses. So again, we have Valentine or Valentine, um, Despa. So this is going to be his Udemy course. Uh, you can get it in the, uh, subscription to Udemy, uh, the personal plan, which is going to run you $30 a month after your seven day free trial yay for free trials and right now you could get it for $13.99 for the next three hours until their next flash sale in another 12 hours um so this is going to include five hours worth of on-demand content one downloadable resource 23 articles to practice a test um so going through this course and also looking at the uh, student feedback, I would say he keeps his content pretty up to date, as you could tell, uh, when it was last updated. And so that, that's great for you as the reader and the tester, because that means you're going to be, have the most up-to-date content available. Now, you know, he has his content more up-to-date than the actual, uh, certification provider, since they're still using the 2020 guide. <laughs> um, but still, this is going to help you get certified. Now, remember, we did say this is on the profession, the personal plan for the subscription service for Udemy. We'll go to our next certification, uh, which is taught by Paul Ashen. And it again is on the per profession, personal plan uh, for free, uh, so for the seven day free trial, <laughs> at least, uh, and then $30 for this exam. I did go over this as well. I did enjoy uh, the way Paul presented the information. I can't say that one particular instructor was better than the other because I I am more used to the getting into the technical technical weeds of things with the cloud certifications and the security certification prep. Um, so a lot of this was going to be very, it's going to feel very textbook. No matter what we do, a lot of this is going to feel very textbook. I, I will say Paul used a lot more infographics that were really helpful to grasp the information. 
Um, but that doesn't mean that Valentine did a poor job. Uh, it just means that I did enjoy the infographics a little more under Paul's course. Um, again, great feedback from the community. Up to date. One month more up to date. So he just updated it this month. Um, and again, you could either get the subscription or you could buy the course for $16.99 uh, for the next four hours. And this is going to get you three hours and 12 minutes worth of content. It's going to get you 21 articles. It says two hours, but it's three hours. Um, 21 articles, 21 minutes of on-demand audio as well. Uh, this, this doesn't actually include practice tests, I don't believe. Yeah. Audiobook. Oh, you get access to his audiobook. That's what he meant. Yeah. So this, the, he doesn't actually include any practice tests. He offers case studies and practical examples. Yeah, but no practice tests. So that's going to be one advantage that Valentine, Valentine had, uh, over Paul in his course. And then Vladimir, uh, Vladimir's course was straight to the point. Both, both Valentine and Paul, uh, are going to get you kind of just the bare basics of scrum, agile, everything that goes into it, but also preparing you for the exam. Um, Valentine's course, he, his course is a little bit newer. Um, but he still has amazing ratings, just not as many students as the latter two. But the la the other two had a, did a lot better job advertising their courses. But again, even his content is going to be on the per personal plan for, and then you could get the seven day free trial. So the point I'm trying to make, listing, pointing that out every time, is you could get buy all these courses individually. So fifteen bucks here. 17 bucks here and 14 bucks here. It's going to be like what 45 bucks a little bit more than that. Or you go ahead and pay $30 a month and get access to all these courses for one payment. Uh now, you know, you're you're splitting hairs here because, you know, $45 um and then what $60 after we go into the next course. Um, uh, little sneak peek there. Um, so that's two months worth of content or subscription for the other. Um, if, if you go the, the latter going for the personal plus, and then it's like, but Dom, I could own the content if I just buy the course and then I don't have to worry and I could take it at my own time. And that's true. But when you're testing for these, and I'm going to go over this in one of our next videos. You want to kind of set your own pace and prepare yourself. So if you have a subscription, the advantage to having a subscription is, you know, every month you don't take the course, you're paying more money for the training material that's just sitting there. So it kind of, uh, it's kind of like a, a cheap way for you to push yourself into, oh no, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta take this course. What am I doing? I'm wasting money by not studying. So that that's why I try to push people get the subscription service. Um, because it's it's just another way for you to motivate yourself to just go ahead and take the course because you don't want to keep paying $30 a month if you're not testing for anything. So you want to go through study, 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 and make sure you put your foot on the gas and get this exam and get it over with. So you don't have to keep paying that monthly fee. Where if it's, you know, you're paying the course outright, it is great. And I do prefer this method for some instances, especially now when my plate's already so full. But I, I do prefer this method if it's something that's a big topic and it's going to take you a while to digest. Like, let's say you're going through a marketing, full marketing course for like Facebook marketing or something like that. And it's not preparing you for an exam, but it's overall information that you need. Buying the course is great, but if it's something that's time sensitive to get a certain exam, you want to try to have something to light a fire under your butt and get you going. And I think the subscription service is the best way to do that. Over, uh, but anyway, 
back to the point. Uh, again, Vlad Vladimir, he did a great job in his course. Four point hours worth of content, four downloadable resources, three articles, two practice tests, and a certificate cation of completion. Uh, now, it's funny. Uh, Marusio actually has the most content for us for learning about agile in Scrum fundamentals and principles. But this isn't actually an official study guide for any certification. He he says he gives you a certification, but it's just the Udemy certification you get for completing courses. Um, I mean, you could get that for database administrator in two hours. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to be recognized when you go to an actual employer, which is fine. Um, but he, I, I listed this, even though it's not actually an official study for this, uh, this certification, Marusio goes really in depth and gives a lot of great examples in this course. Uh, he, he has amazing rating and uh, recording with his students. He keeps his course up to date. He has it in French and English. And you get 15, almost 16 hours worth of content on this, on this course. So he gives a lot of different content on here. Um, and you know, it's, it's hard to keep 16 hours fresh and keep people engaged that such as Marussia has done, but he did a great job. Uh, so that's why I would su suggest this course, uh, especially if like, let's say you already get the exam, but you just want to have something on hand. Remember I mentioned before, sometimes having the buy option is good. This would be one of those cases where you want to have it, uh, just like you would have a networking Bible. If you're going to a knock, uh, on hand. So if you're ever, you know, going through and you're like, wait, how did I do this before? It's kind of just a way to help you out in those regards. So those are all the courses. We didn't have that many courses here, but I did want to give you uh, the reason why this video is so long. I want to give you kind of like an overview of what goes into Scrum and Agile in the first couple of minutes. And I, at the end, I did kind of ramble on a little bit and I apologize about that with why I suggest the subscribe method uh, instead of the buy method, which I will go over in another video. So be prepared for me to repeat myself again, like a broken record. Um, and have more slips of my tongue uh, because I can't speak properly anymore. I got marbles in my mouth. Um, aside from that, I did want to give another little tangent here at the end. So for people who are wondering, what can I do with this certification? What kind of jobs I could get? How it's the job market for this? So we go here and we look up PSM because that's the certification we're going for in project manager. Now we're looking at this in the United States. Now overall in the United States, there's only 194 job openings or there's 194 page one of 194 jobs. So 194 jobs uh, for this particular exam uh, certification requirement in different um, companies. So it's not going to be the most lucrative if you're going for a general project manager uh, position, you're usually still going to want to get the PMP, which we do have a video for that if you want to go over uh, and try to get a project manager position. Going for your PMP is going to be the better shot. However, if you're trying to be a scrum manager, you're going to see a lot more positions. You're actually going to see double of uh, uh, over over two times the the positions that you did for a project manager role, uh, and companies are employing scrum masters, and scrum managers and agile managers and agile masters, um, because they they need people to understand agile. Uh, and a lot of companies are adapting to this. Everyone was used to waterfall, especially if you go to companies like Ford and a lot of these uh, manufacturing places and even, you know, working it in the yard, uh, working on bridges, working on different things such as construction. A lot of them relied on waterfall, which is outdated and it's not up to code with what we need for the current, um, the current world we live in. Uh, so that's why a lot of people are moving to scrum and they need these scrum masters. They need, even if it's going to be outsourced or it's, 
or uh, uh, contract based. Uh, we need these scrum masters out in the field, and they're paying hand over fist money for a lot of these positions to get people who are scrum master certified and people who understand scrum and agile workflow. So you're going to see a lot of positions for this open up uh, over the upcoming years when there's going to be a healthy sum of money you don't want to miss out on. So that's my take. Uh, that's the information I want to provide for you. Uh, just make sure before you go for this exam, if, if you know the area of the world you want to be in or the area of the United States that you want to be in, uh, when you have a particular job or role, make sure you do your due diligence, look it up, say, okay, I want to be a project manager. Where do I see myself? Will this certification actually help me? I want to be a scrum manager. That sounds neat. <laughs> so where in the United States or where in the world do I want to be? Maybe I want to be a remote. Maybe, maybe I want to, I want to have a remote job. I don't want to be in an office anymore. So how many, how many options do I have out there for remote work? Is it going to be full-time remote or is it going to be part-time? Do I need to be in a certain city, state, zip code? What do I need to reach the requirements? So do that due diligence first. Again, sorry I ate up so much of your time, but I hope you appreciate it. Uh, if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and then be sure to check out our next video that we have coming up next week. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.